Welcome to the third season of Gene News. We're coming at you from our brand new studio. I'm Whitney Ashton. And I'm Ricardo Avila. Today marks the release of the second issue of the print graphic. Make sure to pick up a copy. The Department of Public Safety is investigating a claim that $2,000 was stolen from the Psi Upsilon fraternity on January 16th. While the fraternity held their annual Psi You Think You Can Dance philanthropy event, their money safe containing $2,000 was stolen. Psi U member Jordan Saya described the theft as a slap in the face. Despite the missing money, the frat managed to raise approximately $4,000 for the Sam Schmidt Paralysis Foundation. This semester, Pepperdine's athletics department has a new policy regarding attendance of student athletes. After one absence, there will be a written report sent to the athlete's head coach and sports administrator. After a second absence, the athlete will be suspended for the next regular season match or event and will be required to meet with an athletics official. More than four absences will lead to an indefinite suspension. Also, if students are viewed as being inattentive in class, they will be penalized with an absence. The new restriction policy also requires athletes to provide a doctor's note for excused absences. Ken Lezebnik, the Director for Library Advancement and Public Affairs, will be leaving his position at the end of January. The accomplished playwright and screenwriter will head a satellite campus of Missouri-based Stevens College in Los Angeles. He helped the Women's College design the curriculum for the Low Residency MFA program. He will act as the founding director of their MFA program in TV and screenwriting. Lezebnik will return to Pepperdine on April 1st to discuss his new book, Hollywood Digs, An Archaeology of Shadows. Already looking at the upcoming election, Douglas Kemek, former U.S. Ambassador to Malta and current professor of constitutional law at Pepperdine, announced he will run as an independent candidate in the 26th congressional district race. Kemek will face incumbent Julia Brownlee, Jeff Gorell, and Raphael Dagnesis in the June 3rd primary. Kemek, who is a devout Catholic, said he is running as an independent because it's an honest label for someone who has represented both Democrats and Republicans in the past. The winners of the Waves of Innovation projects are moving forward on making their proposals a reality. Last week, President Andrew K. Benton and Waves of Innovation Chair Lee Katz presented the awards to the finalist at the Waves of Innovation Talks. WIT is accepting applications until September 15, 2014 for next year's talks. If you consider yourself a film critic and think the worst in cinema should also be recognized, you're in luck. This year's Golden Raspberry Award nominations were released January 15th. Known as Razzies, the award is given to the movies and actors that most upset filmgoers and film critics in the past year. Among the nominees this year are Movie 43, Grown Ups 2, The Lone Ranger, and After Earth. For more information on these stories and exclusive online content, visit pepperdine-graphic.com. Our app is available to download in the App Store as well, and you can find us on social media at the handle PepGraphic. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.